Hannity tonight as America's radical New Green Deal Democratic Socialists yearn for their Marxism, socialism. The people of Cuba, who have been suffering under this very ideology for decades, false hope, false promises, everybody will share in the wealth, never worked out for decades. They're now risking their lives in search of freedom, something we often probably all take for granted. It's no secret under Castro's murdering Marxist regime, the Cuban people have long faced dire shortages of, of food and other basic supplies, even toothpaste, medicine, soap. Uh, there's a reason they're still driving cars uh, from the 1950s, barely held together by like string and super glue. Everything from energy to eggs, it's all rationed. Every Cuban citizen is only allowed five eggs a month. That's it. Needless to say, the quality of life in Cuba, outside of the ruling elite, they do great. It is abys abysmal. And during the ongoing unprecedented nationwide protests in Cuba, demonstrators, they're not calling for more eggs and more rice. Instead, they are chanting freedom and down with communism. They're carrying Cuban and they're carrying American flags. Yep. You know, the same American flags that we watched on the 4th of July and we see a lot. We saw it last summer. Many leftists in America trash. Yeah, those American flags. Even in the face of a massive government crackdown with mass arrests, risking lives, Cubans continue to take to the streets, risking their lives every minute in the process. Many likely will be murdered as a result of this, these brave efforts that they're involved in. Back here at home in the U.S., well, America's top radical socialists, they are, well, predictably, yet eerily silent. Lifelong communist, you know, the guy that honeymooned in the former Soviet Union, Bolshevik Bernie Sanders, praised Castro's literacy programs and frequently attacks Republicans. He's been completely silent about the ongoing demonstrations in Cuba. So, Senator, do you stand with the people of Cuba for liberty, for freedom? Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez, the real Speaker of the House, missing in action. The left social justice warriors, they too are missing in action, even still tonight. One time backup quarterback turned woke profiteer Colin Kaepernick. See him right there, decked out in his Fidel Castro shirt? It doesn't seem to care about those that are now crying out, risking their lives for freedom in communist Cuba. Colin, by the way, the guy on the shirt that you're wearing in that picture right there, that guy, yeah, he was a ruthless mass murderer. Colin, maybe that's something to take a knee about. Maybe show some solidarity for Cuba's freedom movement that's going on. So far, it's crickets. One New York Times columnist claiming, quote, shouting freedom and other anti-government slogans. Freedom and other anti-government slogans. Uh, poorly worded, you think? Thousands of Cubans took to the streets. Uh, other anti... I can't get over that. Freedom and other anti-government slogans. And the New York Times, I guess freedom is an anti-government slogan. That shows you how far they've sunk in the sewer. Anyway, no, this is a call for human rights. In other words, we talk about rights we believe in this country. We're endowed by our, not thing, but God, the creator of everything. Natural, God-given rights, not government rights, in the face of a tyrannical communist dictatorship, a murdering dictatorship. It's not just some general anti-government stance that's going on in Cuba. And meanwhile, today, Joe Biden, frankly, had to be shamed and barely mustered the courage to give a short statement in support of those demanding their freedom from this murderous regime. One spineless Biden State Department official actually lying, blaming the protests on COVID-19. Quote, peaceful protests are growing in Cuba as the Cuban people exercise their right to peaceful assembly to express concern about rising COVID cases and medicine shortages. Well, first of all, let's start with the fact that statement was and is a complete lie. There is no right to assembly in Cuba. You'd think the State Department of Joe Biden might know that. There are no rights in Cuba, period, Joe. You might want to tell the people that work under you, if you ever know what day it is. Any expression against the government in Cuba could land you in prison and you could end up dead and never to be seen or heard from again. 
Now, that's what these protests are about, not COVID, not supply shortages. The Cuban people are demanding freedom over tyranny. Then Press Secretary Jen Psaki, she just advances the Biden administration lie that the, the Cuban people just need a few more vaccines. That'll do it. Take a look. One of the issues that uh, the uh, that protesters are justifiably out there in the streets uh, protesting about is hunger, is lack of access to vaccines, et cetera. We certainly recognize and understand that access to vaccines is one of the issues that a number of individuals in the streets is voicing concern about. Uh, but we have to determine what the mechanism would be to work with the Cuban people to get vaccines to them. Uh, that's something we're working through. No, Jen, they actually need freedom. Again, another lie for gutless Joe. As Senator Marco Rubio put it, quote, protests in Cuba are not simply about shortages. Socialism, promises, guaranteed food, medicine, and income. If you give up your freedom and when, as always, it fails to deliver, uh, you don't get your freedom back. And that's why the protesters are chanting liberty. Senator Rubio will join us in a minute, and he's absolutely right. As I have said many times, yeah, I don't care, socialism, communism, authoritarianism, whatever, historically, whatever name you give it, they promise everything. It's all going to be free, free, free. Sound familiar? And the promises always end in unfulfilled promises of utopia, more poverty, that's guaranteed, uh, and under many regimes, death and destruction. And then you calculate after their promises are broken, how much of your personal freedom did you give up in the name of what would be uh, false uh, security of the government? And in this case, at the hands of an oppressive dictatorship. Millions of Cuban people now who immigrated to the U.S., they know this all too well. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.